Okay, so welcome to this new video on the channel. I am Akash and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this uh, login and sign up user interface. So here uh, it is a basic login form. So uh, first of all, here we have a heading and then uh, we have these two fields. And when I uh, focus on these either field then the bottom border gets highlighted and we have a placeholder here so whenever i type something into this field the placeholder just automatically gets disappeared and uh, we have a hover effect going on on this uh, submit button so uh, and then after we have a anchor tag here for going on to the sign up form so we have a sign up form also as you can see here and also we have a paragraph tag here which uh, asks these uh, small questions like uh, are you a, a user already a user then you can log in and if you are a new user then uh, you can go on to sign up form and sign up so this is the form that uh, i'm going to create in this uh, video and not only that this form is also responsive so as you can see here as i get my window down it automatically aligns itself in the middle no matter what uh, even if it is uh, in horizontal position or vertical so whatever it is it aligns itself so i'm going to show you how you can do this as well in this video and i'm not going to use any kind of media queries i'm going to just use flexbox so i'm going to show you how you can do that uh, using flexbox so now let's get started with this video so i'm going to use uh, visual studio as uh, the text editor for uh, this video and i have uh, these files created so i have a css folder in which i have this uh, style.css file where all the styling is going to go and we have a login.html and signup.html file so now let's start with the login.html file okay so here is uh, the basic boilerplate for uh, this login.html page so let's start off by first specifying the title for this uh, html uh, page so the title is login and now let's link our uh, css file that is the style.css in our uh, css folder and now let's start off by uh, just creating a section and in that we are going to specify a heading so login is uh, the heading that we are going to give for this login page and here we are going to create a form with the post method which we are not really going to uh, use in this video as this video is just about creating the ui for uh, these two forms that is the login and sign up so now next up uh, we are going to create an input tag uh, with the type text and for this will be uh, the input field for the username so we have specified the placeholder and name as username and then the next field uh, we are going to give it uh, the name as password and the placeholder also as password and the type also as password as uh, we don't uh, want to show whatever the user types so it is going to be hidden and uh, only the stars are going to be shown and then after uh, the next input field will be of uh, the type submit so it is going to be submit button and uh, we are going to also specify a class that is submit dash btn so we are going to use this class to style this button a little bit different from these two input fields so that we are going to do in uh, the style.css file so we have a name and value also specified for this button and then lastly we are going to uh, give a paragraph and in that paragraph we are going to ask a question to user if uh, whether a user is new so if the user is new then uh, they can 
create a user by going on to the signup.html file. So we have an anchor link here for uh, this signup page. So whenever the user clicks on this anchor link, then they will be redirected onto the signup.html page. So this is uh, the login.html page. Now let's move on to the signup.html page. Okay, so here also we have our basic HTML boilerplate. So here we are going to give the title as sign up and we are going to link our uh, style.css file here as well. And then in the body, we are going to create a section again. And in that, uh, the heading as sign up and a form with the post method. And here, firstly, we are going to uh, give the uh, username input field and then we are going to specify the email input field and then the password and then the confirm password so email and confirm password are the two uh, new fields uh, that we are going to add in this sign up form as compared to the login form and then we have a submit button here as well for submitting this form and uh, we are going to specify the same submit dash btn class that we specified in uh, this login.html file and here also we are going to specify a paragraph uh, with uh, this question of uh, whether the user is already having an account then uh, the user can click on this anchor link and will be redirected to this login.html page. So that's it for this uh, signup.html file. Now uh, let's see uh, the output for these two files. And I'm going to uh, run this uh, live server here. So I'm using an extension uh, that is, let me show you here so i'm using this live server extension and you can search for this and install it and uh, as soon as you install this extension you will get a button here that says go live and so as soon as you click on this uh, go live button then it is going to start a live server so the html and css uh, will be automatically rendered here on this uh, live server that is running locally and uh, you just have to save the changes in your file and as soon as you save the changes then they are going to be reflected here in uh, this uh, window automatically now let's start with the css file okay so now let's start with the basics so first of all we are going to set the box sizing to border box and then in body we are going to set the margin padding and the font family and uh, the default color for the text to uh, this and then after uh, let's start with the common uh, css uh, that we want to set here for the anchor link so we are going to set the text decoration to none and the color of uh, the text to black and then as you can see i have saved the file and the changes are being reflected here and then here we are going to start off with the section part so here in the section we are going to specify the height as 100 vh that means uh, 100 viewport height and then uh, i'm going to set the display as flex and justify content center align items in the center and then the flex direction as column now let's save this and as you can see here we have all the uh, elements in the center of the screen and so just a quick thing here uh, before we move further is uh, that if you don't know what flexbox is then i have a video on this channel on flexbox so uh, it goes from the start till end of flexbox and 
all that is there uh, in the flex box so uh, whatever the css3 flex box offers i have covered uh, all of that in that video so you can check that crash course out and i'll give the link in the description down below as well as in the i button so you can go there and check it out okay so next up uh, we are going to set the css for the input fields so the section and then input and we are going to set the width to 300 pixels and then uh, the display as block and the margin as 20 pixels and padding uh, as 15 pixels for the top and bottom and 5 pixels for left and right and then after we are going to set the font color to 18 pixels then the font width 400 uh, then the border width uh, as 2 pixels for just the bottom border we just want the bottom border and we are just going to uh, set 0 for the left top and right borders and then we are going to set the border color and we don't want any outline so outline is basically when you focus any element then you see a blue uh, colored uh, shade or an outline uh, on the border of uh, the elements the input element so uh, we don't want that so i have set the outline to none and then uh, the transition as uh, for the border color as 0.2 seconds and then uh, we are going to set uh, the input field focus uh, pseudo class for this uh, border color so whenever we focus uh, these input element then uh, the border color is going to change from this to this so let's see so i have focused this element and as you can see here the border got darker and when i uh, get the focus out of there then it is back to uh, this uh, gray color so this is the focus uh, so this is what this uh, focus pseudo class does and we have specified this transition so it is going to get focused in a little subtle way so it looks nice okay so now let's move on to specifying the css for this button so we have uh, this class specified here for this button as submit dash btn so we have uh, used that and we are going to specify the padding uh, as 12 pixels for top and bottom and 5 pixels for left and right then uh, the border width as 0 and the font size as 18 font width 400 and the background color and the text color and the outline here also we want the outline uh, as none and then the transition for uh, the background color so we are going to specify the hover pseudo property for this uh, background color transition and here as you can see as i hover onto this button then it uh, gets its background a little darker so this is how uh, we are doing that okay and now lastly let's uh, specify some css for this uh, anchor link so whenever we hover onto this anchor link then we get an underline so let's do that so we are going to specify the section p and a so this p means our paragraph and a means the anchor tag in this paragraph and here we are going to set the font width as 500 and then uh, the hover for this as the text decoration underline so we are going to get an underline so let's see okay it works perfectly fine okay so now let's go on to the sign up page as well so this is our sign up page and here also everything works fine okay so this is how uh, you do it and now let's see if it is responsive as well and yes it is responsive so no matter uh, however you want you can resize your window but the elements are going to stay in the middle of the screen so this is how you can do that using the flex box so this is how you can create this uh, very simplistic login and sign up form 
Okay, so if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and share this video as well. And if you want to see more of these videos, then click on that red subscribe button down below and subscribe to this channel. And that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one.